Hey everybody, this is John from MTG Nexus with an update about where Burn is positioned going into the meta. Going into Modern Horizons and beyond, looking at the current decks that are doing well, and how some of the new cards from Modern Horizons might affect them. As a friendly reminder, if you like what you're seeing on the channel, please consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up, and leaving a constructive comment down below. So, top decks according to MTG Goldfish right now. Humans, Blue Eye Control, Tron, Blue Red Phoenix, Dredge, and Amulet Titan all above Burn. So, Humans has picked up new toys recently, Blue White Control has picked up new toys recently, Tron has picked up new toys recently, Blue Red Phoenix, hard to believe, has only picked up its uh, Phoenix, what, nine months ago, six months ago, and Dredge, obviously getting Creeping Chill. So, a lot of archetypes have changed, Amulet Titan also has picked up Kern the Great Creator, so, a lot of the top decks have picked up toys in recent memory. So, breaking that down, where does the new cards in the meta affect what's going on with Burn? Starting off with the card that affects Boros Burn the most, Sunbaked Canyon. Many people have been disappointed by the fact that Modern Horizons didn't have the printing of something like Chain Lightning, or Price of Progress, or Fire Blast, or anything along those lines. However, I would say of any of the archetypes that picked up new cards, that Sunbaked Canyon will affect Burn probably the most of any card in the format. Um, the ability to turn some of our excess lands into a card draw uh, helps mitigate flooding, which is one of the ways Burn loses in some of these matchups. Uh, beyond that, you know, it's going to come down to what is the correct number of um, Horizon Canopy-esque lands in Burn, whether it be Burn, whether it be Mono Red Phoenix, whatever, whatever form of Lightning Bolt deck you play, a lot of these decks are going to want these actual cycling lands. And on the flip side, we also, quite a few of our opponents, uh, some of our, like, Monored Phoenix, Is It Phoenix, Infect, um, some of the other aggressive decks, possibly even Merfolk, putting these decks and in, lands into their decks, how is that going to affect their matchup against us? And with that said, let's move on to a card that has a lot of burn players and uproar out of humans. So one of the cards that has burn players in an uproar is Unsettled Mariner, which obviously can go into humans, can also go into spirits, potentially a blue-white merfolk build. So any type of tribal deck that has, you know, some type of synergies with a particular type, whether it be those three mentioned ones. Um, it forces you to pay one extra mana for activating a Grim Lava Mancer, for targeting it with a Searing Blaze, a Lightning Bolt, any of those kind of things. So, huge, huge undertaking for Burn to target creatures now. Uh, going back to Sunbaked Canyon, one of the things you can mitigate this is by going up to a 20th land. A lot of times recently we've kind of cut down to 20 to 19 lands. Previously a lot of lists ran 20. So adding one more mana to your deck, the ability to pay for those extra costs. And the other point that people don't seem to discuss is the Humans deck especially, also suffers from the same problem the burn deck does. Like, how do you fit in another two drop into the deck? Do you cut Kite Sail Freebooters? Do you cut um, uh, Meddling Mages? Do you slash a number of Thalias? Do you slash Thalias Lieutenants? Do you start cutting your three drops like Reflector Mage or Mantis Rider? So humans also have to figure out how many Unsettled Mariners they want to fit into their deck. So that is something they face, much like we faced with the integration of Skewer the Critics, Light Up the Stage. I mean, we play we don't even play cards like Atarka's Command, so we have a lot of good spells we don't even play in the format, and Humans is going to be facing a lot of the same problem. Um, a deck like Spirits, this will help them out some, but it doesn't really go with their evasion theme, so I don't know how many of these are going to work their way into that. And the Merfolk is already a very heavy two-drop centric deck, so I could maybe see this as some out of their sideboard, but they have other cards that have been put in the set they're more likely to put in than even Unsettled Mariner, and we'll get to those here in one minute. Force of Negation, a card printed that we'll see some play. Most people were kind of slogging this as, like, you know, anti-combo hate and such, but the decks that are mostly going to see this are blue-white control-esque decks, uh, 
as well as decks like Merfolk, Spirits. So this is a card that's basically a negate active during your turn, which is problematic because Burn has become more of a sorcery speed deck with Skewer the Critics and such. So obviously this could have some ramifications playing against Burn. Um, I personally run Exquisite Firecraft in my build, so I can usually push through the last points of damage. But Force of Negation is a relevant card, especially out of those tempo decks like Merfolk and Spirits especially. Matchups are usually pretty reasonable for us, um, but something to consider playing around, you know, playing more and during your opponent's upkeep, during their, you know, during their turn. This card's a little less powerful during those. And also, control decks, uh, while they might start running some of these, a lot of the blue-white decks have started to adopt some number of Teferi Time Raveler, which means we're playing at sorcery speed anyway, so this card is a little bit more effective for them, but it's still a two-for-one. You know, it still requires them to pitch a card to deal with a card, and that's not always easy, even for control decks, you know, because it has to be a blue card. You know, their, their Path to Exiles, their Wrath of Gods, um, etc. There's a lot of cards in their deck that just are white, and they can't pitch, or they have lands. So, Force of Negation is definitely going to see a play. It's a card we're going to have to learn to play around, much like uh, Burn and Delver players have to play around the Force of Will in... Legacy, however, it's a little bit more restrictive in what it's capable of doing. There is, another, however, another sideboard card that could be relevant against us. We'll get to that in a second. Flusterstorm. This is a card that's going to be pretty good. But it's mainly aimed at uh, decks like uh, Storm, Ad Nauseam, and such. Much harder for them to fight through this. Also, it can be relevant for a deck like Ad Nauseam to have against Control in addition to their Pact of Negations. Uh, this is a card that might see play in sideboards and be somewhat useful against us, but much like um, Spell Pierce or Negate, this is a card that's going to fight over a certain number of limited slots. Um, the creature-based tempo decks might play this as some of their protection spells, but they're more likely to go to something like Negate or Spell Pierce or uh, um, Force of Negation, simply because it's a little bit more flexible in what it counters. But this is a card we need to be aware of that is now in the format, but not specifically necessarily aimed at us. Another card, Weather the Storm. This, is, this had some people in the Burn community kind of freaking out. Um, there are already cards in the format that exist. Life Goes On, Feed the Clans. Uh, so if people want to decide they really want to play Burn and play Weather the Storm, those are the same slots that people would have already played cards like that in decks like, oh, Teamer or, uh, say, the Teamer Phoenix deck when they would play Life Goes On. Uh, so I wouldn't be too worried about Weather the Storm. If your green-based opponent really wants to beat you, they can play this. But this card really is very narrow in its focus, and they must really, really have a passion for disliking Storm. We'll get to one last card before we kind of take an overall view of the meta. Finally, a card that might see play in something like Dredge, Hogak, Arisen Necropolis. The card seems pretty sweet. I doubt it will slot into any of the current... Uh, dredge lists, but it is something, it's an interesting card in an archetype that's already a pretty rough matchup. So them getting basically a, in the later in the game, a free 8-8 eight eight with Trample can obviously close out the game a lot more quickly against chump blockers and such, but doesn't really affect the meta in terms of uh, how it's played, etc. Could be an interesting thing for like some of these cycling decks or uh, Life from the Loam, various decks that might pop up, but... So interesting piece of tech for one of our more difficult matchups. So overall, where does Burn currently stand in the meta? Uh, humans obviously being on an uptick is kind of rough for us, and not even because of the Unsettled Mariner, it's more because they play four copies of Oriok Champion in the sideboard. So something that's kind of become tech over the last several months uh, to combat Blue Red Phoenix and Mono Red Phoenix and also is usually pretty decent against Dredge, and uh, very, very good against us, obviously. That's why I've been kind of advocating going back to 4 Path to Exile in my current sideboard configuration of my own builds. Blue-White Control has been on the rise, as has Tron, because of their new toys um, out of War of the Spark. And I've played against both the new configurations now, and I don't really think they changed the matchup all that much. Um, the 4-drop Karn kind of feels to me, depending on what like if they have like bottle domes or stuff, 
stuff in their sideboard is just like another like pseudo like thought not seer card. In other words, if Tron really wants to skew their deck to combat burn, they can, but the matchup's generally very favorable. Uh, Blue Red Phoenix, it's kind of here to stay in the meta, barring a ban of Faithless Looting or Arc Light Phoenix itself. Uh, but Blue Red Phoenix is a pretty solid matchup, barring unless they really want to beat us with Dragon's Claws and such. Dredge, Dredge is a rough matchup that we can beat if they have a slow dredging thing or if we find our graveyard hate or any of that. Amulet Titan, obviously those results are kind of skewed by the SCG Tour, um, the deck doing well on that. But that is kind of a rough matchup for the Amulet Pilots that know what they're doing. And obviously Mono Red Phoenix is kind of a close matchup. So overall, I think Burn's in a decent place in the meta. The big thing with Burn is when Burn was doing poorly this past couple of GPs, it was because people were playing with Skewer the Critics light up the stage, and it was probably overrepresented and overprepared for. Right now, when Phoenix and Tron and Blue Eye Control and Humans are on the rise, Burn's getting lost a little bit in the shuffle. So it's kind of a good place for Burn right now, although we do have our bad matchups. It all comes down to how big the hype of uh, Sunbay Canyon you know, gets people excited to play Burn. And if a lot of people pick up the deck, the deck's going to perform po more poorly as people are more prepared for it. And as kind of the excitement dies down and it goes back to normal levels of playing, Burn will probably fit nicely in the meta, probably where it, where it should be as a tier 1.5, tier 2 strategy. Um, able to snipe a tournament because it's good against Phoenix, good against Tron, good against Blue Eye Control. So if you got Tron decks pu pushing out the Dredge and the... Uh, Black Green Rock decks, and if you got Blue White Control kind of being down some of the other like Dredge decks and such, potentially, um, Burn can be in a pretty good place. If Dredge is on the rise, obviously Burn isn't in a great place, and it just comes down to fighting however the humans decks kind of morph to include Unsettled Mariner in their lists. That's kind of my thoughts of where Burn stands in the middle. Let me know what you think down in the comments. This is John, Ben John for MTG Nexus.